Welcome to Heftor Edition. So I've had a quite a few requests about making a uh, GUI application with uh, Python. So I thought I'd, uh, I think I've already made a video about it, but uh, let, let's make a, another fresh one. So just going to create a, a .py file, a .py file with Python. And uh, the first thing we're going to start off with is we need to import GTK. So that um, we're doing it in Python 3. So with Python 3, you need to import uh, the GI repository, which is a Py object. I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember. My OS is always shipped with it, so I've never had to actually manually install it. So you might have to look into that yourself. So we're just going to import GI. Now, this isn't needed for the importing of the GDK. It's needed for the um, version, the GI version that you're using. Um, I can't remember what it is. I usually wait for the warning when I run the application and copy and paste it. So I've never actually typed it out myself, so I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. So then we're just going to say uh, from GI.repository. And then we're just going to import GDK, capital G, and we're going to go from that. Now, I usually run them in a class, so I'll say class main, and then we're just going to say uh, GTK in the brackets dot window, because that's what we're making, the GDK window. And then we're just going to say define initialize and we're going to say self like that and I usually throw a super in there so that'll be super main self dot init and then in the init I'll usually write uh, title equals and Whoops, 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 come on, my app name. Then I usually say, uh, if, there we are, there's a code snippet for me. So if name equals equals main, and then we'll say um, w equals main, so we're calling our main class, and then we'll say main dot show all. And then we'll say GTK dot main. All right, so that's the basis of it. And now if we uh, run this file and we've got it right there, there's our GUI window at the moment with our title name right there. Now we're going to do a few other things. So here, as you can see, we can resize it. So sometimes you want to set the actual default size. So as you can see here in the initialize function, we've defined self. So we can run it with self. So what we can do, we can say self set default size. Oh, there we go, I've got it right there, and I'm going to say, uh, let's say we do it 300 wide by 100 high. Let's, uh, let's run our application and see what that looks like. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 that's not working because we haven't, that's what I forgot to do. See, that's a good thing about debugging, to find out what's going on. So we can say now self.connect, and then in quotation marks, we're going to say delete event. And then over here, we're going to say GDK. Uh, main quit that's right main quit there it is and we're going to leave it like that 
So now that's connecting the delete event to the main quit event. So if we kill the application with a keyboard shortcut like Control C in terminal or whatever, it's going to actually kill the application. See what what we've had going on is we closed the window, but we never actually killed the window. So there's the size of our window right there. Let's let's bring that down so you can see it. That's the size of our window. Now, if we close that, that should kill the debugger. There we go. Now we're back to a normal one here. Now, do you see this warning down here? Uh, I'm not too sure if you can see. Yeah, you, you can see that. All right, it says here use GI require version GDK that. So we're just going to copy that. And I'm going to throw that up there. And that's why we imported GI right here. See, my uh, linter is giving me a warning because the import is below the actual require. So for my linter, I have to do hash space no QA and that will get rid of that warning for me. Now this one's telling me it expects two blank lines and there we go. That one's about spaces and now our file's clean from warnings. So we've set the default size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say size self set resizable and we're going to say false. Now what this will do is going to prevent us from resizing the window. So now we've only got the two buttons here. We've got the minimize and close. And we try and resize and all that's doing is moving the window. So we can't resize our application now. Let's set that. Um, that's pretty much about it. There's some of the main ones that I normally use. Um, this will get you started. So what you can also do, let's let's do show you my way of doing it. So I'll put all my GUI stuff, uh, like everything, like my panels and that kind of stuff and frames and that. What I'll say is uh, define GUI. And then in brackets, we bring in self because we're going to need self if we're going to be using that. And um, right here, and I'll just say pass for now, just so I get it. And then in the main function, we're going to come here under here. We're going to say import and my file name, which is GUI. And then down here, after all my um, initialization and that, right at the bottom of my um, init. Uh, function. I'm going to say GUI dot GUI and I'm going to pass in self. So after all this is gone, set, it's going to call the GUI function and this is where we're going to have everything. So let's, let's just say uh, we've got a VBOX and that in, in uh, GTK dot box. And that's um, what was it again? Orientation equals GDK dot orientation, and then we're going to say dot vertical. And going to give that a spacing of ten, about ten pixels. And we're going to say self add there, yeah, that's why we imported self. And we're just going to say VBOX, there it is. And then down here, we're going to say button equals GDK dot button, and the label on the button is going to be I'm a button. And then we're going to say button dot connects. And our connect event is going to be clicked, and it's going to be self dot on button clicked. Then we're going to say vbox pack start, and that's going to be button. And we want zero padding. All right, so now we've uh, created an element or a widget, so to speak. 
Now we come down here and we'll just say def on button clicked and we have to pass in self and we have to pass in the widget of itself and then we're just going to say print I have been clicked. Alright. Now that's done. Let's, uh, let's debug. Oh, GDK is not defined. That's why we debug. So we've got to pass GDK. I forgot about that. Go back to our function and pass GDK into the function. Now that's all good. And now our application will run. Now here's the button. Click the button. I have been clicked. I'll click it a few times. There you go. So now you can see it. I have been clicked. Yeah, so there you go. So that's how you do it. That's how that's how I pretty much lay out my applications. Is it's um, when the application starts to grow and you start to get a lot of files, like say instance the Arco Linux Tweak Tool, for instance, that's uh, it's getting rather large. And uh, laying it out this way, having different modules and that in different files, and uh, it just allows you to call them. So with this, what you could do is you another file called uh, uh, I don't know say you got a button GUI so button GUI dot PY and then right here in the GUI part you can you can import the button GUI at the top here and you can call button GUI here and all that kind of stuff and you can have your, G, uh, your GUI dot PY uh, modules just nothing but filled with all your other modules and what you're calling, when you're calling them, and how they're laid out, and all that kind of stuff. So, so that's how that that works. And uh, so, hopefully, this was informative. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.